everyone. Thank you for coming to the library in Caledonia. It is wonderful to see everyone. You know what? I'm going to finish decorating the tree before Santa comes because if I don't get it done right, he's going to be upset and I can be put to the wood, the woodshed or the workshop and make a lot of toys. As you can see, I've got some toys here already made. Here we go. There. Oh, friend, friend, oh, right here, yeah. Oh, one down here, yeah. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, dear. Santa's coming. I better get hurrying. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's all done. Now, you know what? I think I can write, read a story for you. Okay. Let me find my story and I can read it. And then when it's all done, I can go back decorating the tree some more. Okay, let me go get my book. All oh, these decorations. Oh, Got to move them out of the way. Santa gets upset when things are cluttered. Anyways, here's my book, Waiting for Santa. And that's what we are doing here right today. Here we go. My fingers don't want to work because decorating the tree, it's a lot of work. Anyways, here we go. Bear, look at the bear here. Bear woke early with a tingling in his tummy. Wake up, everybody. He called, tomorrow, tomorrow's Christmas. We got to get ready for Santa Claus. That's what we're doing, right? Let's see if I got the right page. My fingers don't want to work. Santa's not coming, Badger grumbled. He doesn't even know we're here. Oh, yes, he does, Bear said. He'll come, Bear cried. We just have to believe. What's going on, asked Mole. Is Santa really coming? Will there be presents? Squeaked Mouse. Stop that. Stop this nonsense, Badger said. Santa's not coming this year or any year. But Bear was hoping with excitement. Santa will come, he cheered. He just needs some help to find us. Bear's forest friends talked it over. Maybe he's right, said Hedgehog. Why don't we give it a try, said Mole the Mouse together. If we must, Huff Badger. All day long, the friends were busy, busy, busy. Santa will love our sign, Mole said. If he's here to read it, he'll be here, Bear smiled. It says, this way, Santa. This way, Santa. Santa's reindeer will love these snacks, Mouse said. If they're here to eat them, they'll be here, Bear declared. Santa will love our Christmas tree, Hedgehog said. If he's here to see it, he'll be here. We just have to believe, Bear explained. And he dashed off into the woods, see? Where's Bear off to now, Mole asked. Maybe he's given up and gone home, Badger grumbled, like we should. But Bear was back in an instant. Look at my Christmas star, he cheered. I hope Santa will like it, but our tree is enormous, Mole said. How will we reach the top? Well, Bear has an idea. We'll do it together, Bear said. He lifted up Badger, who lifted up Mole, who lifted up Hedgehog, and who lifted up Mousy. They're all going up the tree. I can't believe I'm doing this. Badger grumbled as they wobbled and swayed. You know, can you imagine doing this, putting up the star on that big tree like we have up there on our tree? Mouse stretched up high and tied the star to the tallest branch. Ooh, he gasped, watching it, it sparkle. Ah, sighed Mo in wonder. Eee, 
Madrid giggled. Mo, her feet are so tickly. I can't help it, chuckled Mo. As they teetered back, teetered and tottered, and with a bump, they all fell to the ground. See, look at that, they're all coming down. Bear scrambled up, everything is perfect, he said. Now let's all wait for Santa. So the friends huddled together as darkness fell. It's very cloudy, Hedgehog said. What if Santa doesn't see our tree? He'll see it, Bear said with a smile. But the time passed slowly and the wind began to whistle. Oh, that's not good. I'm cold, Ma shivered. I want to go home. Time for hot cocoa, Hedgehog said, snuggling close. But, but there was still no sign of Santa. He's not coming, is he? cried Hedgehog. No present, sighed Mouse. Maybe Santa isn't coming after all, Bear thought. Suddenly a big gust of wind blew the clouds away. The moon shone down on the Christmas star, making it shimmer and sparkle. There's something in the sky, Badger said. It's, it's, look at this. There's Santa coming. There's our tree with the star. He saw it. Santa, Mouse cried, and he has presents. Hooray! Look at that. Ho, 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 laughed Santa. I could see that shining star from way up high. There was a special gift for each of the friends. Thank you, Santa. They said, no thank you, chuckled Santa. A rest of some yummy snacks were, were just what my tired reindeer, reindeers needed. It's thanks to Bear, Badger said. He always knows you're come. What a wonderful welcome this is, said Santa, shaking Bear by the paw. A clever bear like you can help me deliver these presents. Tell me, will you come along? Yes, yes, Bear exclaimed. He hopped into the sleigh and his friends all cheered. And as they flew off into the night sky, Bear and Santa called out together. Merry Christmas, everyone, and never stop believing. And that's the end of the story. So we're going to be waiting for Santa to come. Thank you.